The burn test is a great tool for identifying what type of fiber it is that your yarn is made out of, and also for showing what some of the characteristics are of the different fibers, which may be important for you to consider when deciding what yarn to use for this project. I have here a 100% cotton, a 100% wool, and a 100% acrylic to illustrate the burn test. First, I'm going to light this piece of wool. And you'll see that the wool will catch fire, and it actually catches fire at a lower temperature than acrylic, but it immediately self-extinguishes. This is the 100% cotton, and you can see that it catches fire, and it continues to flame and burn just the way paper would burn. And in fact, I'll just stick it in the dish here because it continues to burn until the material is burned up. So this is the acrylic. You can see it flames. It doesn't self-extinguish like the wool. And like the cotton, it will continue to burn until it's the fiber is gone. But what results with the acrylic is a sort of a molten goo. There's a residue. So wool self-extinguishes, the cotton burns to ash, and the acrylic, because it's petroleum-based, burns and burns with a very hot molten residue left behind. So for those of you who have picked up a great deal at a yard sale or perhaps bought yarn 10 years ago and haven't done anything with it yet and you don't know what type of fiber you have, the burn test is a great tool for identifying what type of fiber it is that your yarn is made out of.